Hello everyone, thank you for joining us in this short webinar. I'm Vaso Zanidu, I'm Product Manager with Indrewoos Cloud, and if you are a partner transacting with a Microsoft CSP program, then I'm sure you have heard a lot of buzz around the new commerce experience. By so, now, there's so much documentation out there that it's easy to get confused or frustrated. Well, don't worry, because you're not alone. We have done all the heavy lifting for you and this is a short video and we will try to give you a rundown on what you really need to know about this new component of Microsoft. So let's begin. What is the NC that we all heard about it? First of all, let's take a look at Microsoft's vision. As you know, the transition to the NC started back in 2019 with Azure and now it's time to move on to the next step. Microsoft is seeking to align all the sales streams and provide a unified experience for cloud purchases. To do so, they introduce a new set of offerings for Microsoft 365, Dynamics 365, Power Platform and Windows 365. Of course, to support all these new functional changes, a new set of features is added to the CSP program. Those features and new offerings create a whole new experience for you and of course your customers. So, what are the changes that occur in the CSP? Yeah. First of all, new products are available to the CSP while legacy ones come with a new face. So, Microsoft 365, Dynamics 365, Power Platform and Windows 365 are the new NC offerings for you. But how about terms? Microsoft is willing to enhance customers' commitment, but also offer more flexibility to partners and customers who do not want to commit. So, monthly, monthly term offers and annual term offers will become available for all products, while triennial one will become available for some products. A price protection is provided for all commitment terms. So, as you can guess, monthly term offers will become available with a higher price. So, yes, flexibility is offered, but with a premium price. Like everything in this life, there is no gain without paying. So, let's see what else is very important regarding purchases and flexibility. The billing options, of course. Microsoft offers multiple payment options for each term to align with market needs and pave the way for annual and triennial purchases. So, so, upfront payment is offered for every term, monthly payments are offered for annual term but with the same price, and monthly or annual payment terms are offered for triennial subscriptions. Of course, upfront payment is available for all terms. So, no price increase while you select a payment option, but just more options for you and your customers. Now, let's see what else is changing. Pricing is shifting to be more market-centric, starting by having a price list for each market country that you sell. So, the selection of market countries that you sell to gives you the respective number of prices for each market country. Price lists are expressed in the currency of that market. For example, if you are selling, let's say, to the US, you, the, will, then, you will then use a price list for the US expressed in the US dollars. But if you sell to Canada, you will use a different price list for Canada expressed in the Canadian dollar. But what about selling in two or more countries? In that case, you will use two or more price lists. But what about your invoice? Well, Microsoft is going to issue an invoice for you in your local currency. So, now let's talk about Europe. Europe is a region with many countries that work with different currencies. So, what is going to happen if a partner is, let's say, located in Germany, where Germany currently uses the euro currency, and also this partner is selling to the UK, where prices are in the British pounds. Well, Microsoft will give you a price list for each market country in the European Union. So you will have one price list for Germany and one price list for the UK. But into this price list you will see all the prices expressed in all European currencies. In this way you can start selling using Euro or Pounds. So, Microsoft will give you a price list for each market country in the European region, but having all the prices expressed in the all European currencies. In this way, you can sell to the UK using pounds, but knowing your cost in euros since you are in Germany. Well, a great improvement that we are all happy about it is the API provided to get the prices from Microsoft. 
for Interwoos Cloud Commerce Platform customers, this means that they no longer have to download the price list each month to update their prices, but they will automatically get the prices imported into their platform by, user, uh, by using our integration with Microsoft. Another important change that is certainly worth mentioning is that all invoices will be sent by Microsoft to you between the 6th and the 8th date of each calendar month for products bought between the first and the last day of the previous month. And this is offered as an SLA by Microsoft to you. Now, let us move to the hottest topic of all, cancellation. Cancellation comes with a warning sign for you to watch your step, and this is why. Cancellation is only allowed within the first 72 hours for any purchase subscription with a daily proration refund for the second and the third day. So, after 72 hours, no cancellation is allowed and you are going to get billed for the whole term. Also, this is actually valid for seats that can be reduced within the same cancellation window. Uh, added seats can also be cancelled within the same window and trial that was converted to paid again can be cancelled uh, within this uh, 72 hours window. But wait, what is going to happen if your customer is not paying or let's say goes off business for some reason? Well, unfortunately, cancellation is not allowed by Microsoft even for those cases. Commitment is on and cannot be changed for you and your customers, so you have to be very careful with this step. But Microsoft is offering a backup plan for you to relieve your stress, and this is the suspension capability. Well, you can suspend any active subscription at any time and then resume it. However, you will continue to be built unlike in legacy and the services can be resumed later on. But suspension will immediately block the customer's access to Microsoft 365 services, applications and files. Well, that's something. Now, moving on with the changes, we see promotions. So, promotions are also applied as a percentage discount to a given subscription with a given payment option and for a limited time dur duration. Promotions are auto applied if the customer is eligible to buy a promotion. While in the promotion period, you can add seats to a subscription with the same promotional price. When the subscription is to be renewed, the promotion will be applied if it's still active in terms of time. Of course, if the promotion is not active, customer will get the non-promotional price for this subscription. Now, another change is add-ons. Add-ons are renamed as independent add-ons, and this is because now they are discoverable in the product catalog as the rest of the individual products. Microsoft runs a prerequisite control to check if the customer has an active base subscription and can actually buy this add-on even if it's bought by another partner. Well, it's important to note that an add-on purchase creates a different subscription with different end date. Another important issue is the price increase. <laughs> Microsoft has announced a price increase that will happen on March. On the positive side of things, it's good to say that January starts with a promotion for monthly and annual subscriptions. These promotions will be limited in time and will last up to March for annual and up to July for monthly. A very important issue that you should also pay attention to is the auto renewal option that comes with ON as a default for every subscription. Of course, it can be turned off by the partner at any time before renewal, but it's good to know that this feature will help you reduce customer churn but on the other hand, you should be mindful when it comes to annual or triennial subscriptions because they will be auto-renewed. Well, subscription updates are improved so that flexibility is enhanced. Microsoft allows partial or full upgrades at midterm and of course at renewal as schedule change. Also, increase of seats is allowed at any time and decrease of seats is only allowed within the first 72 hours like all the cancellation uh, offered by Microsoft. Finally, trials are available as in the legacy for 25 seats, cannot be cancelled or changed during the trial period, and 
trial gets auto converted to paid subscription for an annual term with 25 seats and this is something that can be changed only within the 72 hours window like the rest of the cancellations so please mind that no alert mechanism will be available for from the partner center and you have to set your own another question that can win the contest of the most common asked question is when when will all these changes be implemented when will will be ready let's take a look at the time plan for the nc as which is currently announced by microsoft well Started in October, as we know, Microsoft has released the NC technical preview for partners to test the waters, send their inquiries, and get familiar with its new component. Also, Interwoods Cloud, as an integration provider, certainly needed that time to test the APIs and align our cloud commerce platform with the NC. Well, in January, as we know, Microsoft is going to officially launch the NC in the CSV program and also is going to offer promotions and incentives for all CSV partners. From January and on, Legacy and NC will work together until March. From that period and on, all new purchases must be placed on the NC. Also, a price increase will happen in March and the promotion period for annual ends in March. Now, coming to July, which is another important milestone, all legacy subscription that expires shall be renewed in the NC. So, if, if a subscription expires in, let's say, August, then you will have to renew it in the NC. Well, if you are an early adopter and want to jump into the NC world as quickly as possible, Microsoft is offering the migration feature to start your transformation journey. October of 2022 is a very important date for you also since this is the last date that you will receive incentives for legacy. And that drives us to February of 2023, which is the last deadline for all subscriptions to be moved to the NCE. So, why all this work? Why all this fuss? What's in for you after all? It is sure that your actions are required to implement these functional changes and also support your partners in this journey. So, what's in for you? You will be able to offer a greater flexibility for your partners and customers by providing the monthly term products. Customer commitment and engagement will be certainly enhanced with the annual and triennial term products while also boosted with the enforced cancellation policy of the 72 hours. And this is why Microsoft is offering annual and triennial products with a better pricing. And last but not least, you will enjoy a more streamlined billing experience like you already enjoy with Azure. Well, Leaving this session, I would like you to be mindful about four major issues. These issues drive your commercial policy and come from you guys. These are the main points of concern that you should think about. The rest is up to us as a cloud commerce platform provider to align with Microsoft and support all their features. So pay attention to the strict cancellation window of 72 hours. No cancellation is allowed and no for a refund is given after that point. This will leave you somehow exposed to non-payment issues. So it's a good idea to design your policies accordingly. Pricing will be increased in March of 2022. Also, auto-renewal feature is certainly a plus since it helps you reduce churn, but you must have a notification engine like the one that Adderos Cloud Platform is providing and a way to toggle it off at any time so that no surprises knock your door. Finally, a change that should be communicated with your financial department since the date that Microsoft is going to invoice you and that is until the 8th date of each month. So you may want to check the date that you invoice your customers. What is our solution as a cloud commerce prov provider? Interwars Cloud Platform is NCE ready and can automate your NCE business, as it does for many CSP partners working with the legacy and other offerings. So, start today, publish your own marketplace and enjoy the benefits of CSP automation. 
What's more, you can build your pricing strategies and enjoy an automated provisioning and billing process that will allow you to follow Microsoft and NCE as a new component in the CSP. Bye-bye. Okay.